Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, I ain't perfect. These other rappers lie to you in verses. I show the fans my heart, not the surface. My whole life a circus. Muddy Mo. Muddy Muddy Mo. Bing! <laughs> What's up, Crypto World? It's your boy Muddy Mo. And this is Dap and D5 Quickies. <laughs> Chapter 1, alright? So this is a new series, you know, new to Muddy Mo's World of Crypto. Typically, Muddy Mo's World of Crypto gives you longer, uh, more informational content. Uh, but this is different. This is just a quick glimpse of Dapp and DeFi opinions and info, all right? So it could be anything. It could be about specific platforms. It could be about uh, developers, whatever, all right? So let's jump right off into it, man. First up, we got Bankroll Save, all right? So a little bit about Bankroll. Um, you know, Bank Teller, the developer of Bankroll, has his own Patreon group, which is like a private group. Um, but to me, you know, the public just don't get the info fast enough. So uh, we don't know when save is going to drop. You know, hopefully it drops soon. Uh, but one of the good things about Bank Teller is that he's very original. Um, and he's a very talented developer. And save is essentially a wallet that gives you banker dividends for holding your wallet. All right. So you're not getting charged fees to use it. Um, and you can just hold Tron there. And while you hold Tron there, I'm assuming you get banker. All right. So that's definitely a muddy mo. Beep! <laughs> so that's bankroll save all right next up we got frag hex all right so frag has a new contract come out and it's just supposed to be just like the a lobby so i'm sure a lot of potential users just like muddy mo was kind of curious of like is this actually with hex the hex token and the answer is no all right this is not um, using ethereum's hex all right to me it's just a terrible name for it i don't think you should name it anything with hex if it's not using the hex token and this brings me to this man hey if you need some help man naming man use the community i'm not just talking about the telegram group like get the community involved man you can use influencers like muddy mo <laughs> or just other influencers man to help or give input on what they're going to be a part of it's important to get the uh, the users involved a little bit more because that name is terrible because <laughs> that name gets a big <laughs> Uh, but I get it, man. It's you know, it's more like an, uh, a respect or an ode for you know Richard Hart in the Hex AA lobby, but it's misleading, all right. Um, but Frag Hex is essentially just an AA lobby with Tron instead of uh, Hex, all right. You're gonna be staking your Tron and turning it into Frag over time, all right. That definitely gets a muddy mo. <laughs> uh, but we'll come back to Hex a little bit later, all right. So now we're gonna have some muddy mo food for thought, all right. In the DAP DeFi space, in the DAP DeFi smart contract space, I have a question for the people, man. Is it time to demand that we know who our developers are? Maybe not have their identity shown, but if each DAP that comes out, do, is it time for us to know who's making them? For example, you know, it was a project that was just out wheel win. Uh, it was a casino DAP, and it scammed out on us. And typically in the smart contract space of dap and DeFi space it's a safe space because it's all smart contracts so you know is it time for us to know our developers to know what we're dealing with before we put our good tokens into any of these projects going forward just a little something to make you go mm. <laughs> all right man next up we're gonna be talking about two canaries hex max all right and unlike frag hex uh, this Hex Max is a, with the Hex token, and it's a great name, man. That gets a muddy mo. Bing! And this is essentially a mix of Hex Rise, which is inflationary, meaning the price only rises of the token, and Hex 2, uh, which is, is a hourglass contract mixed with staking, all right? So Hex Max has very high potential, very high potential. First, you know, in part because if it's involving Hex 2 and Hex Rise, Hex 2 did awesome. I think Hex Max just has the opportunity just to be enormous just because, you know, there's not much to do with Hex and it could be enormous for Hex, right? It'll raise the value of Hex because in that contract, people can stake and hold a lot of Hex, all right? So, you know, that kind of brings me to something bigger. And I've been thinking about this. I've been watching Token Air. I've been seeing what they've been doing over there, all right? Is Token Air taking over the Hex game? All right. Is that the is that the idea? It's fire, and it definitely gets a muddy mo. Bing! Because I'm thinking, if you get hex, the best place to put it is somewhere on Tokenair's platform. Period. Hex two was better than Pirate Bank. It was. It, it just was. Hex Rise, I think, was a different idea. Um, but now putting it together in this Hex Max contract, it could be huge. All right. So that's Hex Max. All right. So now we're gonna finish up with none other than Frag Tide. 
Tycoon, alright? Frag Tycoon is like similar to Tron Goo. It's where you can basically have a frag div pool and you can get your dividends based upon getting, um, in this case, what's called factories and keeping your factories up. All right, now I think Hank should have really, really pushed this back. I think with Frag Hex just coming out, and you know, just right now, you know, things are kind of quiet. Like you can Frag Tycoon could have came out on a different time and really, really had a lot bigger effect. So I think timing is everything, and you know, it's hard for a developer. You know, once they get done with the project, I can understand how good they probably feel. Like, man, yo, I just got this done. Let's get this out to the people. I get it, but the marketing and everything beyond that is important that's the difference between having frag have an average adoption to an enormous adoption all right so so it could have been timed a little bit better um it's just always good to keep in mind that the people the users are what's important all right so you know think about us you know we got a lot going on <laughs> we got hex max and then we coming back around with frag hex a couple days later and then we got some frag tycoon sometime soon after that you could have pushed that back a little bit but um, nonetheless, it's a great project, I think. And if you want to be involved in Frag Tycoon and get your uh, dividends, it's like work. So if you remember, like, try and go, um, you have to constantly be upgrading things and working. And that's good because some people like to stay active. So that definitely gets a muddy mo. Bing! Because the active people can make their frags. All right. All right. So that was DAP in D5 Quickies <laughs> Chapter 1. All right. So we talked about Bankroll Save, Frag Hex. Some muddy mo food for thought. Token air hex max. And then frag tycoon. Alright. Y'all want to hear more? Stay tuned for chapter two. Bing! We all fly.